This is part two of a three-part video on building a cruising skateboard. In the first part, we learned how to laminate plywood like this. And in this step, we're going to actually put fiberglass on the bottom side of the skateboard. You'll need these materials listed here. Cut the fiberglass cloth about an inch wider than the skateboard itself. And mix the resin very well together with the hardener according to the instructions and what you don't see here is that you want to actually paint it onto the the bottom of the board first um, and then with the grain and the grain in fiberglass runs horizontally and along the the length of the skateboard so you want to squeegee that in with a, a spreader and get the resin on just as thick as you can without it running. Spread it out nice and evenly and it takes about an hour for it to dry uh, on a good sunny day. The UV actually helps uh, also besides the heat to help cure the epoxy. The next thing you're going to do is trim the excess after the epoxy is hardened and the fiberglass, trim the excess off the edges and then using an orbital sander and you'll sand down the surface with some medium grit sandpaper getting off any high spots so that uh, this is ready to finish then again with uh, some polyurethane that we're going to put on it. And here's a good way to get color or a pattern onto the surface of your board. We picked camouflage here and I'm going to iron this piece of fabric so that I can then apply it to the surface of the skateboard as we did the fiberglass on the bottom. Now this is the top of the skateboard, the deck, and I'm first spreading epoxy resin evenly and pretty thickly over the surface. Then I'm going to lay the fabric into that and actually using gloves in my hands I'm going to rub out the air bubbles, any air bubbles that exist underneath and then coat it again with the fiberglass resin. I'm going to cut out the pattern that we're going to use to trace and I'm going to put that on the bottom the fiberglass side of the skateboard and then cut that out using a saber saw or scroll saw and keep the line that you need to follow as thin as possible that way the blade on the saw doesn't have that far to drift within the thickness of the line itself. Take your time and work in a direction that's natural for the arc of the curve that you're using. And if you're using saw horses like I am, and you start to get close to it, stop and then lift the saw blade over the saw horse and continue your cut. Go all the way to the end in both directions, and when you're finished, you should just have the blank skateboard shape left over. We're going to then use a belt sander attached to a vise and I'm leaving the belt sander on now so that I can move the entire skateboard around it to smooth out all of the edges uh, that have just been cut with the saber saw and go right around the tip and very smoothly all the way around the board. Then using a router we're going to use it the same way as we did with the saw when we get to the support area here, we'll stop and readjust everything and then cut from the other direction. Now this is the bottom that we're doing. We do the top and the bottom the same way, just knocking the edge off basically of the skateboard. It rounds it just a little bit and makes it nice and smooth. We'll, uh, after this step, do a little sanding on it, but after this step, it's basically ready for the final finish of uh, urethane that we're going to put on uh, that will protect the, the end grain of the wood which is now exposed 
Uh, the rest of it, of course, is covered in fiberglass. So stay tuned for part three where we'll apply the finish and attach all the hardware. Thanks for joining us.